Hey everybody, what's up? Just back with another video here. So I'm just going to talk today a little bit about Jug Meat Sing, but before I do that, I just want to encourage you guys to hit the like and subscribe button as it really helps grow my channel. Not to mention, I also want you guys to know to please uh, leave your opinions about what I have to say um, in the comment section. I always uh, encourage people to do that as well. So let's get into this a little bit here. So it's just a quick little video. I just thought it was funny. It was a few days ago, apparently, Jugmeet Singh showed off how stupid he is by not knowing what a sack of potatoes is when holding up a plastic bag of apples. It's just kind of funny. Even the Liberal Party made fun of him. They have this quote from Jack Layton, which actually was kind of nice. My friends, love is better than anger. Hope is better than fear. Optimism is better than despair. So let us be loving, hopeful, and optimistic, and we'll change the world. That's Jack Layton's quote. Jugmeet Singh says, look at these sack of potatoes and you can have a look here at the video that is clearly a bag of apples. We'll just play it a few times. Like, hey Jugmeet, tell me you're stupid without telling me you're stupid. It's like, well, this is just a big mistake. Sack of potatoes? You ever buy a sack of potatoes at the grocery store? It feels much different than a plastic bag of apples. Well, what does that have to do with policy? It doesn't. It's just showing how dumb he is. Say what you want about Pierre Paul. I don't even think Justin Trudeau is that stupid. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. And people say, yeah, but it's just a small mistake and I'm still going to vote for him. It shows how out of touch he is. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's talking about how much a sack of potatoes costs, and he's holding up a $3 bag of apples. It's like, like, and he's, he thinks he's going to be prime minister one day. Too stupid to tell the difference between apples and potatoes, which are very, very different. First of all, one's a vegetable, the other's a fruit. Just start with that, let alone the plastic bag versus burlap sack. Pretty big differences. And he thinks he, he's smart enough to be prime minister. Now, see, this is why he can he, he gets stuck in the mud a lot in the polls, too, because there's just nowhere to go for someone who's that idiotic. You can also go to his policies. Tax the rich. Anyone who makes more than the prime minister, essentially, at $400,000 gets tax, taxed at 80%. Right. So if you're one of the people who have, let's say you make five hundred grand a year, are you really going to give Jugmeet Singh $400,000? And leave a hundred thousand for yourself, or are you just going to move? You're going to go to Alberta, or you're going to go down to the state somewhere. You're not just going to let the government rob you like that. And if you're making that much money, you can leave easily, right? You can afford to do pretty much well not anything, but you can do most things that anyone would want to do if you make that much money. But if the government says, "Hey, by the way, we're going to then rob you," they're just going to leave. They're not going to take it. They're not just going to give you all that money. This is why. People just seem to think like really inside the box. Tax the rich. Oh, good idea. Yeah, except for you fail to realize how powerful a rich person actually is compared to everyone else. So let's just go with that and then this to show how stupid this guy is. Not a great look. But then, then, then again, anytime he gets in front of a camera, every time he talks into a microphone, he just doesn't know what he's talking about. And every time, like, an interviewer just calls him out, he just kind of, oh, well, the conservatives are bad. Oh, and by the way, so are the liberals, but I'm going to prop up the liberals anyway. Anyway, I'm, I'm done with this little rant. I just wanted to post this video just because I thought it was kind of funny. And it's the weekend, and I thought, hey, who doesn't want to have a laugh on a Saturday evening? So uh, thanks again so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will be back shortly with a new video.